Welcome to Excel magic trick number 1,488. Hey, in the last five videos, we saw how to look up the latest product price. And in this video, we're going to look back at all five. And I want to ask the question, which one was your favorite? Now, there is a link below this video to vote. So I want you to go vote for your favorite. Now, let's go over to the sheet 148387. This is the answer sheet where we have the formulas for Excel Magic Trick 1483 all the way to 1487. Now, there's a link to the playlist with all five videos in the upper right-hand corner. Now, for each one of the solutions we saw, we had a lookup table with product effective date and price. And our goal was to look up the price based on order date and product. And there's two problems. We have two lookup values. We need to look up product and date. And the order date does not match up directly with effective date. Now, in our first solution, we sorted just the effective date column. And then we used the lookup function and an array formula. In our second formula, 1484, we actually had to come over and not just sort effective date. We then had to come over and sort the product column. So we had to sort by two different columns. But once we had both columns sorted correctly, we just created a unique identifier in the first column by joining these two items. The fact that effective date is sorted within product means this key is sorted from smallest to biggest. So we can just use a straight approximate match lookup. Now, we could use VLOOKUP. I chose to use LOOKUP. The next formula, 1485, we said, well, wait a second. What if we can't sort this in any order? F2. We actually brought the correct effective date into our lookup formula using max ifs. The reason why is because we can't directly match order date up to effective date. And then we use the sum ifs function acknowledging that there's never any duplicates. So in essence, we just used some ifs to look up the price. Then continuing with the requirement that we didn't want that table sorted, we used our helper column to create a unique identifier inside of VLOOKUP. But for our lookup value, again, we had to bring the correct effective date into our lookup formula to match it in the first column, but we use max ifs and VLOOKUP. Then in our final example, F2, we didn't want the helper column and we didn't want to sort. So we used index and match with max ifs. And we also saw how to use index to just wrap around an array calculation so we didn't have to use Control Shift Enter. Not only that, but the last three solutions did not require sorting. And if you didn't have max ifs, we saw how to use aggregate in all three solutions. Now what I want you to do is go and vote. Which one is your favorite? Now when you go and vote, you click on the link and you just select the formula you want. If you enter your name into the form, at the end of next week, I will do a random draw and mail the winner, the name that I draw out, a Control-Shift-Enter Mastering Excel Array Formulas book. All right, that was a lot of fun with looking up the correct price based on effective date, five different solutions. We'll see you next video.